Number 14, risk of anastomotic leak by anastomosis <coughs> type in colon cancer being presented by Dr. Grace Huang. Good afternoon. Thank you for the opportunity to present our study um, titled Risk of Anastomosis Leak by Anastomosis Type in Colon Cancer. We have no disclosures. The goal of our study was to compare leak rates between ileocolic anastomosis and colocolonic anastomosis in patients with colon cancer. We also evaluated management of leaks differing by type of anastomosis, looking at purely medical management, drain placement, and surgery. We looked at all patients undergoing colon surgery uh, for colon cancer in the NIST group database in 2012 that targeted files. Our results showed that there were a total of 3,000 patients in this uh, study period. About 70% underwent ileocolonic anastomosis and 30% underwent colocolonic anastomosis. Leak rate is about 3%, which is consistent with the literature. And those with a leak stayed in the hospital for more than about, about two, week, two weeks longer. And in terms of intervention for a leak, reoperation was required in about 57%, and 40% required either no intervention or a drain placement. And when we compare the two anastomosis types, leak rate and risk of, risk of mortality uh, was about the same. And as, as expected, open surgery uh, led to higher rates of leak. And predictor of reoperation after anastomosis was uh, higher in patients who underwent colonic anastomosis. So in conclusion, uh, leak rates occur in about 3% of all colon res resection for colon cancer and uh, led to two weeks longer length of stay in the hospital. And remarkably large proportion of patients with leak were managed non-surgically. And there were no significant dis differences in leak rates between ileocolonic and colocolonic anastomosis. And those with a leak after colocolonic anastomosis required more surgery. Thank you.